British Columbia's beaches have tens of thousands of committed friends coming out every year to keep things clean. The way in following the last Great Canadian Shoreline cleanup, 66,000 kilograms of every kind of garbage imaginable. Next year, we'll test their dedication. An estimated one and a half million tons of Japanese tsunami debris are on the horizon, floating straight for the west coast since last March. Some of it has already landed, a dock on an Oregon beach, a Harley-Davidson at Haida Gwaii, two of the larger arrivals, but just the beginning. It's so dispersed, we don't really know how much is out there. But we've put in place, we've got shoreline communities and First Nations and the federal and provincial government working together to make sure we can, we can handle what we think might be coming. British Columbia, California, Oregon and Washington are coordinating in the cleanup. Within BC, multiple levels of government will have to do the same. A few feet of beach can cross several areas of responsibility. Depending on, you know, if the tide's in, the tide's out, and, you know, has this material washed to the upper area, there are many jurisdictions at play. And right now, uh, the province, the federal government, the municipalities are working uh, together as much as possible. And in some places, it's possible no cleanup is coming. We're planning and looking at how we can work with parks agencies and other partners to get to some of those re more remote sites and make the decisions then. Do we need to go in there and pick that up or is it just so remote that the impact of us being out there, you know, sending folks out on those beaches will be greater than the litter that's out there itself. Some places already have garbage bins and bags. Every day at the beach a chance for visitors to contribute to the cleanup effort, but there will be costs. Each community, each park, has a little bit of their budget set aside to do this uh, in normal times and, and uh, we're hoping to a large extent that that will cover the, the costs in the future. 1,100 British Columbians have volunteered for tsunami debris duty, even though the official cleanup plans and resources aren't yet in place, likely not for several more months.